Bill, if you're flying home next week, turns out you can board with some of those turkey day fixings, including crispy fried onion toppings. But nope, no gravy there. <laughs> and what about the bird on your sides? Ashley Reynolds met with TSA staffers, so you won't be disappointed in the screening lines. Let's start with the main course. Uh, Turkeys so the, can fly. Turkey? So as long as the turkey is either prepared beforehand or frozen, it is good to go through. Come on in, how are you doing? No word on how many birds are screened every Thanksgiving. TSA does not track turkeys. We do see them, and we see large ones as well. So it's not one of those things where I would think that I would want to carry a 20-pound turkey along with everything else that I'm taking through the airport. But some people just want to go ahead and have it with them. So your veggies, your fruits and stuff, they can all go in your carry-on bags. So these would be good to go as well. But not yeah. canned. The cranberry sauce, it's a little bit of a solid, but it's liquid gels or aerosols that go through. So this is kind of a gel liquid. So it would also not be able to go through since it is the over 3.4 ounces. If you can pump it, pour it, spread it, or spray it, and it's more than 3.4 ounces, you should pack it in your check luggage. Gravy, checked bag. Pie filling, checked bag. Already made pies and cakes, carry on. Be careful with your mom's casserole. If you have the container, if you tilt it and it starts to slide or pour out of it, uh, then you're going to want to freeze that. Common mistake is people will bring something that is starting to thaw out and there's liquid in it, uh, and then it falls under that liquid limit. Mixes and spices, carry on. It's a powdery substance. It would be good to go. They just might do some additional screening as you go through the checkpoint. So it would be good to go in your carry-on. Scissors so must be a certain scissors. size. So the requirement is four inches from the fulcrum, which is this point here. Right. But a general rule of thumb would be it might be better to stick in your check bag just so you might not get stopped as much going through. No knives, none. This is the thing. You can carry on those small alcohol shots, but you cannot drink them. Now, if you fly out of Springfield often, you know there's usually not much of a line. However, next week, it's recommended to get to the airport two hours before your flight.